So hello again, this is Edgars again, and how I said in my last video, in my last inbox review, we are going to take a look at the uh, new to Airfix Messerschmitt BF109 E4 ML. So, you know, perfect uh, model, I, I already took a look, very nice detailing, you know, in some places, so we will probably like this kit, okay, you know, usual box art computer design, as always, and you got the painting instructions on back of these small boxes, always it's on back, okay, so let's start with papers, have a fix club here, spam, okay, start with the decals, and let me zoom in like this and let's start with the panel so it looks good but I've read that you need to cut it up a little bit to fit the panel uh, in the plane but you know it's up to you maybe you can get it sit down very nicely without that so decals are in register you see these these nice little pieces that gives you you know opportunity to really bring up the look of your model so airfix is working on that very very good these category of decals are just perfect okay let's take a look at the instructions now brief you know history lesson about the aircraft itself and you know assembly instructions waffle down there oh uh, actually this one is pretty good uh position of stencil data so basically the stenciling instructions now what i really w like about it you know on these colored schemes uh Stencil makes everything too colored and you get it, uh, you know, like wrong sometimes or to put some of the decals. So you need to look up some some other models or something like that. But on this model you have a nice instructions for that. Okay. So, you are starting the build with assembling of the propeller so the nose part propeller spinner and this sort of uh, jag to put it into the fuselage and on the co cockpit assembly uh, you have two rounds uh, without or with pilot and if you want to put in the pilot you need to take off these rudder pedals what you put inside uh, you know, that's a nice option because this pilot looks very, very nice and it's not the classic FX one. So you have a nice uh, detailing up there in the office. Now, what I want to bring up, uh, the next part. Engines. And they are kind of blacked out. I don't know. You can't really see the detailing or something like that what you can see in the next step uh, but you know I mean you can build up the engine a little bit more and it will look fantastic uh, you know adding the exhaust tubes and everything else putting together fuselage and then what is really weird you can't have an option to position the uh, engine open so you basically just close it up and and that's it and you don't have anything in there but I think you will just simply need to cut up some panels you know remake the gun barrels like on the fuselage if you want to display it open but that's a nice touch of the airfix kit and I basically only took this kit uh, not the fallen net one uh, you know, new tailing FX2 uh, because of the engine detailing, you know, because of the nice uh, detailing in the model. We have tail assemblings, 
the same with rudder as with the Spitfire, you know, so you can position it how you want. Uh, you know, these ballast struts and uh, tailwheel, wings assembling. Now you can, you know, drill the holes into the lower wing to insert the stand. What is not con not included, you need to buy it, but I actually don't know who uses this. Okay. You know, assembling the fuselage and wings. Okay. So, next step various small parts like pitted tubes, you know, various things on the elevators and ailerons, uh, gun barrels. That's a nice touch uh, that you need to insert gun barrels, and they are like different parts and you don't have them already shitty molded onto the wings so that's good you know air filters and, and radiators what is one of the best parts in this kit you can choose the flaps up or down you know you can just need to cut it up a little bit if you want to display them up or down so this is perfect now Onto the chassis, you know, gear up, gear down versions, however you want. Okay, we don't have any instructions or what angle you need to put. I guess it's a little bit typo because, as you can see, something went wrong here and there are no numbers. But we can live with that, you know, we just need to look and, and see how your chassis are on. Okay, canopy assembling. Canopy is in three parts, I told it in Spitfire video, and this is absolutely gorgeous. You can display the canopy opened or closed, you don't need to cut anything. That is just perfect. Okay, let's move. Here's the canopy. That is some. Uh, let me zoom and focus. That is a nice, thin, clear, beautiful canopy. And of course, the nice gun sight. You get in you know, a clear part, so that's a nice touch. You don't need to, you know, cut and make your own, but I'm sure that we will make our own on this one too, because it's, it's a bit too thick, you know. But still, for those out-of-box modelers, this is perfect. Okay, two sprues of light grey, crisp plastic, you know, the modern uh, Airfix one. So, yeah, the gear, gear up uh, version, flaps, chassis, you know, the struts, radiators, uh, chassis covers without the chassis legs, so that's a good thing. Uh, you know, upper wings with some nice detailing inside the wing. Uh, you know, these chassis oils molded on one piece. Uh, these ailerons. So that's a good thing. No visible uh, sink marks going on. But of course, this beautiful uh, lens. Let's zoom and focus. Uh, okay. Beautifully made, recessed, and, you know, raised panel and rivet detailing. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. As I said, this is not the classic FX pilot. This one is new. Okay. Yeah, see? It's a bit different. Okay. Then we have the. Uh, uh, let's focus. Okay. Uh, you know, the parts of the nose for engine covers and you know, lower and upper parts. Cockpit both with some uh, nasty pin marks, but we can sort it out properly. Um, okay, seat with, yep, let me get the light on, you can see those 
noisily recessed uh, seat belts. So that's a nice touch. Then we have the uh, rudder pedals, you know, jigs, jacks, bits and bobs, you know, various little things, beautifully detailed rudder and uh, stabilizers. Of course, this nice propeller instrument panel. You know, some more parts for an engine. Uh, this is probably spinner. Again, flattened wheels. Perfect. And the fuselage holes. Not so much detail inside, but this is probably what it looks like. Well, you might put some, you know, tubes and, and stuff like that. What's What was inside there, so you have room to work. And you know the most beautiful part I mean look at this how how uh, let me focus why don't you focus God damn it. just look at this perfect engine I mean you you need to put some details on but here you can see the supercharger you know the engine holders framing everything like that even some wiring is already on molded you know I mean this is perfect and what is a little bit bad thing you know what I've read in uh, various uh, forums that I can see probably the panel lines dissolve on the uh, you know bending parts where you assemble the uh, we assemble the fuselage so you will probably need some rescribing but I mean that's not a problem at all so another perfect kit uh, probably I will make this uh, quite soon uh, you know after mant or two the same value as the Spitfire kit. I mean, that's gorgeous. That price, quality, what you get. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, you you can't get better. You can't get better than this combination. So yeah, let me know what you think, or you like these inbox reviews, or no, or or what do you think? And uh, I hope you liked uh, this one. I'm sure that I inspired somebody to buy this kit. And uh, thanks for watching, you know, as always. So, see you in the next video.